But great, great, always a great discussion, and we're always trying to, you know, come up with ways to, to tweak things and make things even better. So, but wow, awesome job to Ram Bros there with the duck bracket. I really enjoy that model. Uh, the duck bracket is a cool one for sure. And so now that's going to take us into our potentially our final battle. I think this is going to be a really good one for these two runners. This is going to be really interesting to watch for sure. Um, so. Let's get going here on this final battle. Neil, do you have any final advice for our runners or any final thoughts for them from what you've seen so far? Uh, it's the home straight. Just, I think these have both got it down now. Just pay attention to the draw and pay attention to any details that are in there that you've already been tripped up on. See if there's any gotchas in there because these are doozy for getting gotchas. Uh, and just, yeah, relax, take it easy. And that's about it. I can't, I can't give much more advice than that because I don't know what model it's going to be. Yeah, that's but good. Just just chill and relax and yeah i'd on. say chill relax you know the whole world is watching you um everybody's watching <laughs> everybody's looking to see if you're making any mistakes your opponent is probably moving a little faster than you so you probably got to keep keep up with them too uh but yeah just relax and enjoy all right guys here we go <laughs> this next battle between rambros from india running fusion 360 and ty from turkey running a libre this next and potentially final battle begins in three two one go what is the mass of this part in xx.x pounds and the tolerance is plus or minus one pound or 0.1 pounds excuse me so pretty loose tolerance on this thing it's made out of abs so you got a pretty loose tolerance on this thing guys good luck on this model this part is called ribbed cover it's in inches it's in pounds Everybody in the chat loves it when we do stuff in inches. So, guys, put a one in the chat for inches. Let us know what is your favorite unit system. Is it inches? Is it pounds? Is it something else? Let us know. Is it hands? Let us know what your favorite linear measurement unit is. On the left, we got Ram Bros looking down on this thing from the top. Starting out, kind of following the same methodology that he used last time that worked so well. And on the right, we've got Ty. Looking at this thing from the section view. Very different starting points. Yeah, I like it. Creating that revolve sketch. I like that a lot. That's the if one. If I wasn't commentating, I'd be giving this one a go myself. This looks really fun. Yeah, yeah, nice. Well, you can always do it. And then uh, while you're commentating, you can do it. <laughs> I'm not, I can't multitask. I, I, I can't spin as many plates as you do. <laughs> Well, this is pretty cool. I like I like that Ram Bros is kind of sticking sticking with his methodology that he used last time that worked well for him last time. I also like that uh, Ty is doing this as a revolve, almost looking at it from the section view. Uh, that's definitely the technique that I used when I was auditing this thing. I can't remember what I used when I originally built the thing. I think I actually might have done it more how Ram Bros is doing it. So I've done it using both techniques and. Um, millimeters, a lot of people say millimeters. They like millimeters in the chat. Millimeters, millimeters, LCR Brick Tech millimeters. Yep, okay. These guys like it. Robbie Parks in the chat says one. He likes inches. That's what I like. Yeah, this, this model looks quite fun. I think I think it's fairly simple, but there's a lot of joints and part and like features touching other features where you'd have to double check to make sure you haven't got a gotcha in there on heights and stuff, but uh, it's there's a lot of symmetry in there, so that should be hopefully quite doable to these guys. Yeah, and that's exactly it. We're going to see them as they start coming down the home stretch on this thing when they get to the ribs. That's where uh, things get a little complicated. Sometimes my drawings um, use notes similar to what customers would say to us. And so the customer would say something like, just make that rib so it goes from the edge of the cylinder to the edge of the cylinder, right? Not realizing how tricky that can actually be. You know, how how the uh, the that 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 can generate zero thickness geometry it can generate uh, problems with tangency it can even generate ambiguity with regards to what the rib geometry actually looks like and so um, we're gonna see how our runners end up handling that uh, Lauren in the chat says is the timer missing do we have a timer no no timer during the live streams um, we, we show the timer uh, in the uh, in the replay but we don't show the timer during the live streams okay. yep good question Lauren So has, um, has Tay started again and tried a different approach? Is he now modeling top down or are we just looking at the model oh, from a different angle? Good question. I think this is just the model from a different angle. Yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, it yeah. is, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that would have been bold. Just go back and start all over. Robbie Park says, let's go inches for the win. All right, thank you, Robbie. 
<laughs> just <laughs> so many jokes all the time. <laughs> yeah, Rambrose is definitely a fan of the the busy sketch approach. Yeah, uh, this is already looking really. And can you imagine if you were to pick up a model in the future that somebody else has made, and you just saw there were that many dimensions inside one sketch, but you had to make a change to the model? You'd be like, I don't even know where to start with this. It might be quicker to just model it again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but we've seen it so many times in uh, in uh, with our Fusion 360 users and our Inventor users, where it, you know, it, we actually just saw it earlier earlier today, right? We looked over, we were watching the SolidWorks user, we looked back over, and the the Fusion 360 user was almost done. And so I think that's kind of the benefit of putting all that in one sketch is that you're just so quickly able to go from that sketch to those other features. Uh, so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it pays off for him. But I completely agree with you. If I opened up somebody else's work and they had a sketch like that in there, I would be like, "Oh man, I gotta go talk to this person," or maybe I just need to start over and model it myself. It's quite. It's. It, it must be a skill though to have the vision to be able to picture what you could, you're able to spawn off of a single sketch, just like different areas of it jumping out of that sketch and why you're headed with that. Um, yeah. That, that much. You know, it's quite a lot of insight goes into into that. Yep. And uh, I see, I see LC, shout out to LCR Brick Tech in the chat was asking if I've seen the new dark mode and on shape. Yeah, I saw dark mode when it came out. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. I haven't noticed anything new about it. I mean, I've been using it um, pretty regularly. I haven't noticed anything specifically newer about it uh, that has changed, but I definitely saw it when it came out um, and was really happy, really, really happy to see one single click to change everything to dark mode. So, yep, definitely very happy with that. It's insane that Onshape's got a dark mode before Fusion 360. It's, <laughs> the Fusion 360 community must be raging because they've been asking for it. I think it must be up there, if not the highest on the wish list. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's Fusion really cool. Fusion 360 has yeah. been 12 years old, something like that now. And Rich Penn in the chat, he's a member of the community. He's got that special member badge. He says, uh, in a production environment, it would take a lot of Toby notes to explain Rampro's models to the checkers. Yes. <laughs> so the Toby notes are those magenta notes you sometimes see on my prints that say things like, you know, like the rib is touching the cylinder up at the, uh, you know, up at the point of tangency. And that's actually what Ty is working on right now, it looks like, is trying to figure out what to do with that rib. Uh, where, you know, like I said, the customer came to us and said, hey, we want this rib to touch these two cylinders. We want it just to kind of touch off at that point of tangency or touch off, you know, touch along the edge. And, um, you know, how do you do that when that rib is coming up and down and going at a specific angle? And... This is where, you know, you said a lot of times my models have a little trick in them somewhere. That's definitely the one in this model. Yeah, fun fact, I think, I don't know about, again, SolidWorks or any of the others, but Inventor has uh, a built-in Toby Notes feature. You can actually pin, like, little notes to the model. Nice. Inside the, nice. Like little sticky notes inside the model. I really like the way Rambros addressed that, that rib. You see how he kind of just, like, pushed that over, almost like a draft feature to push that face over? That was really cool. Wow. I think that the very close at the moment. I think Rambros is he's got a section of it model, but I think he knows where he's going and once mm -hmm. he's done this, he's gonna very quickly be able to get the rest of it done and locked in. Yeah. Right. That was that was I think you said it perfectly earlier. You said like he clearly has a vision of where he's going with all this and that was that was a really interesting way to model just a third of it and to capture that information. But wow, talk about being neck and neck. I think we're gonna see an answer coming in here any moment on this one. Let me keep an eye on the chat here. <laughs> and Rambros coming in with an answer. 23.6. And that is correct. And that, that so is close. gonna give Rambros the win. And Ty coming in right behind him with an answer. 23.6. Also correct. Neck and neck that whole time. Wow. Neil, what a match. Congratulations to both of these guys. Just one single moment between those answers coming in. My goodness, what a matchup. That was truly a photo finish. Congratulations to Rambros for locking that down. Good game to both of our runners. Wow, that was awesome. That was so awesome. What a close matchup there. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Woo, that got my heart rate going. <laughs> Wow, good game, guys. Good, good game. And congratulations to Ram Bros. Moving on in the tournament. Moving on to the Elite Eight. Congratulations to Ty. 
just a just a fraction of a moment behind him there. Wow, wow, wow. What a matchup. Guys, that was awesome. GG to all of our runners today. So cool to be able to see these matches going to three matches each. We were really in for a treat today. Uh, so happy that they were matched up so tightly. Uh, I'd say in the chat says, congrats, Rambros. See you in two weeks. I guess that's the matchups that are coming. Guys, don't forget to like the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's see what we've got here. We've still got 88 people watching. And we've got... Let's